Hey everybody, what's up? So, new tutorial, yay! Um, this one is going to be on how to create an intro animation like these. Now, I've I'm used, currently using the basketball one for my other channel, um, but because uh, we do basketball trick shots and that, um, but the ping pong one we haven't gotten around to use yet. Um, just starting off on that channel, so we're gonna have four parts to this, um, and the first part is going to be creating the animation, um, and for that we're gonna be using GIMP. Any uh, any version of GIMP. I'm using 2.4, uh, and then you want to you we're gonna assemble that, and we're, for that we're gonna put it into Windows Movie Maker. Um, you'll see that part, and then we are going to add some sound using Audacity, and then we're going to add it into Windows Movie Maker. I'm going to show you how to do all that stuff, how to get the timing right, all that stuff. It'll be fun. So, I have already created an animation for you guys today. Um, basically, you have, and this is going to be like a step thing, like you have to add each letter, and then yeah. Um, it adds each letter as it goes, as you can see from my layer dialog here. That. Um, so you can see as it goes on, we turn the visibility off on each one, and just follow me. So start off with our J, then F, then I, then S, H, and T U T S. J fish tutorial. And I'm just gonna create a new black layer under that, so we can serve that as our original. So. Now the playback is going to be very fast, and um, that's okay. Um, we're going to edit that later. So yeah, as you can see, that's very fast. Um, this was only the first part of our tutorial, um, and it's a little bit iffy right now. This this black one right here, um, but you know it's okay. Um, Let's hope. How about that? Uh, um, for this one, I'm actually just going to create a new layer for that. Um, I don't like what it's at right now. And I'm using top secret bold. I'm just going to make that and then rotate. Move that into place. Make sure I have room on the side and the top. That's pretty good right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then just merge that down. And that's how we do that. So, yep. Yeah, it was a quick first part here. Um, if you you don't really need to see me um, do this whole tutorial. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, for this part, it's creating the animation. Just create multiple frames. Um, when you save it as a GIF, it's going to be terrible quality. I can assure you that. So instead of having a GIF, what we're going to do, we're going to export each filter or each layer. So in that, uh, you can download GAP or you can get um, this one, save all layers to a different file. And I'm not sure where I got that. Um, you can look that up. Um, I'm just going to use GAP because it's easy and it comes with a video thing. So you can, you know, get a video from there. But for now, we're just going to use the split frame, split image to frames. Let's click that. And for extension, we're going to use .png. 
you can use JPG, but when you're dealing with a ton of frames, you don't really want that, because then you have to keep editing each setting set. And so the digits, um, I'm just going to use, how about four? That's pretty good. Um, nope, that's good. And then just click OK. Now it will save into your pictures. So it's going to ask you for each one. There we go. Seven. And then it's just going to give you that last frame, which we don't really need. Alright, so this was the first part of our tutorial. Stay tuned for the second part.